Hi Virgo and welcome to my channel. This reading is for soul connections in separation. So those of you that feel you have a soulmate or twin flame, very strong connection and you're wondering what's going on, I'm going to look at your energy and your person's energy. Feel free to flip the energies, they can come out reversed. A lot of you will know, you've just got this deep knowing about this connection. You can't release this person. They probably can't as well. Um, sometimes I see comments though from people who say, I don't want this person back. They did this to me, that to me, I feel this way. And that's fair enough. Um, but then this reading probably isn't for you at this time. A few things. Um, one is that that person could have been a karmic soulmate who came into your life to teach you lessons and left and they won't return. So don't worry about that. <laughs> um, and for some of you, it could have been a divine connection. But you still have some healing to do and, and spiritual growth. You know, these readings can trigger. I understand that. Um, so it could be that it's bringing things out of you that you need to release and so the reading might not be for you at this time you know, if it's triggering you so use your intuition always I would say so we'll start with your energy Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus I was really getting in your energy there a feeling of things you've kept to yourself or you're keeping to yourself. Um, the first card, the Four of Wands, 11 11, so yeah, you could be twin flames with this person and you're very attached to them. I find the imagery beautiful in this deck for the devil because it's like you and your person, twins, um, in the womb. So you've, you've been growing spiritually since you met. It's like this rebirth that I'm then seeing here with both of you now very strong. You've overcome obstacles. You could have this very beautiful, abundant um, life together. Some of you are really reflecting a lot on your life so far. Yeah, see I'm feeling this um, knot in the throat. That's what I mean about things you haven't released. I can feel it in your energy. And this is negative, this is why we've got the devil. It's like um, your shadow self as well, parts of you maybe you don't want to look at and um, release or accept. You know, we can't really release our shadow side, it's about accepting it. I do feel you're trying to work on yourself though. We've got seven to the eight of pentacles here. Um, you're trying to heal. As you think about these things from your past. Some of you are juggling though, either your work and a relationship or, you know, yeah, you might be in a relationship or committed, the Four of Wands, but your mind keeps creeping back to the past, to things you've been through. It's 
Some of you feel quite lonely. Yeah, see there's the connection on your mind. I feel that in the 5D, your connection is aligning. You might be feeling that yourself. But in the 3D, you really miss your person. Now, they might have ghosted you or left your life quite abruptly. Uh, we've got Capricorn that's come out here. So let's see your person's energy. Interesting. Always interesting when we get repeat cards. We've got two repeat cards. The seven and eight pentacles that you've got here. So there's mirroring between you both. A lot of reflection. Learning. Growing. Your person's quite spiritual, um, and I feel they're starting to go deeper within at the moment um, and fill up their own cup of love. I feel they've been through something recently. Um, now, for some of them, it, it's the end of a relationship. These two cards are showing that. Separation, becoming single. Looking forward. Now, um, you know, reflecting on the past, but then looking towards their future. Focused on their mission. Your person might do something where they work with people, um, either in a team or communi in communication, they're telling me. It could be healing as well for some of them, a counsellor, or they might be seeing a counsellor. They're being honest with themselves. Um, I'm feeling here, yeah, I'm getting emotions, very masculine energy coming through in my energy here. They just want to like face up to the truth. This person wants to clear the air with you as well. Um, I feel you have a mission together. You might know them through work. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, coming out here. Yeah, you see, your person is keeping things to themselves. There's a lot of mirroring, because that's what I felt for you. You see, they're going through something quite painful here. Feeling stuck, defeated. Um, I feel they were in a karmic situation. And they've spiritually awakened as a result of this experience. I'm really getting heart chakra awakening. Let's clarify the three of pentacles. Ace of Swords, something they're destined to do, yeah, their mission. It's like they, they've turned their back on something and there's spirit on their shoulder, a bird, could be their spirit animal, could be yours as well. And they found clarity in terms of what they're supposed to do in their life, in their work.
realizing wow yeah i was going to say realizing this is a destined connection and out flies the lovers <laughs> twin flames see here's you and this person very attached to each other so making a decision in love here let's see about the knight of swords Yeah, they want to break free and start again. Fresh start, Aries energy. Queen of Pentacles, now this is you. You see, they want to clear the air with you, have a fresh start. They're very connected with you with a third eye and with it being a pentacle again I'm seeing like this mission they see that you both have a potential together to nurture each other nurture the collective work together these two bees yeah as I said you might know them through work Capricorn Taurus Virgo they want to commit to you. Wow, that's beautiful, Virgo. Whenever the cards fall, gives us a sign. So this has come out up here. The Nine of Cups means wish is fulfilled you are their wish fulfillment this is someone awakening you see blooming from the flower here and even here two flowers you both when you both are bloomed and awakened the time is right heart chakra opening for this person it's like this rebirth yeah that I was feeling here the devil wow and this is your wish fulfillment I feel and you might have to make a decision as a result yes this is your soulmate for some of you you know, we've had Twin Flame and Soulmate come out. Release your ex, yeah. This is what I feel your person's doing, as I said. Could be you as well that needs to release a relationship. Because this is what's getting in the way. Even if it's not an actual relationship, it could just be the energy. With the seven of pentacles that came out for you both, you know, things you're holding on to from the past, as you reflect, spirit saying to release that, be in a playful energy, connect with your inner child. Yeah, sort of like enjoying the fun side of things. I feel this person's very serious. I can really feel that, a bit of a rigid energy, um, very focused on work and doing things right. They could have children. I'm getting a bit of a... They could have had some physical illness as well. Um, left side stomach, I'm feeling. It could be for you as well. Okay, so let's take some letters to finish. We might get some initials or a word. So we've got B, J, X, S, another J, M, C, 
another C, A, G, N, B, U, Z, W and I. So I'm immediately seeing sin. Now a few things here, you know, I feel your person might be, and you as well, but you both got the seven of pentacles. You might be thinking about things you've done that were wrong in the past. Maybe, you know, you see it as a sin. Forgive yourself. Forgive others as well who've maybe sinned, you know. Back to that releasing, release that energy. We've got bin, yeah, <laughs> put it in the bin. <laughs> um, seeing jam, so your person has felt stuck for a long time in their head. You might feel that way as well. Seeing Sam. Cam. Okay, so you might see some initials that came out there. So I'm going to do an extended for this reading for you, Virgo. In that reading, we're going to look at the energy of this connection, blocks in the connection, how your person feels about you, messages from your person to you, the likely outcome of this connection, and advice from spirit. So if this reading has resonated and you're interested, the link to the extended is in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please do comment if so. Sending peace, love and light to you all.